So welcome to the latest episode of Galfe Private Radio. We are going to make this uh, down, dirty, and fast because we've had a few people ask us what we thought about the two Doctor Who trailers uh, for the 50th anniversary. Um, so we are going to give you what you want. Um, so this is going to be a very no editing, just putting it out there sort of video. Um, so there will be no cool beginning, woo, and no cool ending, woo. I have no idea the woo means. Maybe that's supposed to be our music. I don't know. But, oh, the two trailers. Um, I love what I saw. Um, my biggest problem with the trailers is I think they gave too much away um, in them. I now, I now kind of have an idea of what's going to happen. Now, I don't know what part the Zygons are going to play or some of the other elements, but I think I know what the overall story is going to be. Um, I think I know what's going to happen at the end, and I'm going to spill what I think is going to happen. So then you can be like, oh, you were totally wrong, or oh, you were totally right, you figured it out. But okay, this is what I'm thinking. I am thinking that the John Hurt Doctor is the Eighth Doctor. I don't, I think that is the Eighth Doctor who has aged, um, which we haven't seen since, well, um, Hurtnell's Doctor being old. I, I really think that is, uh, the Palmagon Doctor, um, fully aged, um, to the stadium which he is. I think this is the Doctor that did fight the Time Wars, I think this is the Doctor that time-locked everything, and I think with the help of the two other Doctors, Smith and Tennant, they are going to unlock the Time War. That is what I'm expecting, and I see a little white fuzzy that's driving me crazy. That is now gone! Um, so I think that's going to be the overall thing, because we know that it's about war, we have the, the dialects, say, exterminate, exterminate, exterminate! Um, and, you know, what part Rose is playing, because she's kind of like, I'm spooky Rose again after I had the heart of the TARDIS in me. Um... Is it the TARDIS talking through her? Is it somebody else talking through her? Um, is this remnants of the heart of the TARDIS being in her? I don't know. But yeah, we got, we got a spooky rose going on there. Um, I gotta say, I do love, and I knew it was coming, the um, the screwdriver envy. Um, so that 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 scene was, was really cute and, and really fun to see. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be the overall thing. Um, I did hear that we are going to find out why the TARDIS exploded um, repeatedly um, in the Big Bang and the Pan and Pandora opens. I think it were the two two episodes um, called. Which that's one question I've had since since that first since Smith's first uh, season. I I've been wanting to know why the TARDIS exploded, um, and I think that's about it. Um, I'm I'm excited. Uh, November 23rd cannot get here soon enough for me. Um, I'm very, very excited. I'll be um, at Geeksboro watching it, and Drew and myself will be doing a quick down and dirty review of the episode, you know, sort of our first initial thoughts and feelings before we can actually sit down and properly discuss the episode. Um, and then that Monday, where you're going to be seeing it in the big screen in 3D coming right at you. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I mean, I don't know what, what part 3D is going to play, you know, make, you know, do I really need to see it in 3D? I don't know. I don't care. I get to see it on the big screen in 3D. So, I mean, that's, I think that's what I really care about the most there. But yeah, no, um, I love the two trailers. I can't wait to see what they're going to give us. Uh, Tenant is already back, you know, in that, in the few couple, the few scenes we see with him, you know, he is, he's the doctor again. I mean, he instantly went back into the part. Um, and I can't wait to see Smith and him interact. And, you know, I have to wonder, I have to question, um, even if they just do it with, you know, some CG effects, kind of like, well, this wasn't CG effects back in the day, with Colin, or with the, uh, Sixth Doctor regenerating to the seventh. I really, really, really wonder if we aren't going to get the John Hurt, the Eighth Doctor, if if they are who I think they are, regenerating to Magan at the end or at any point in this episode, with it, with that, with or without Magan being there. I mean, they have a lot of footage of Magan. BBC owns that footage, so yeah. I mean, 
it'd be great to see that regeneration because I really do think they are one in the same. And woo, my hand. Sorry, I'm, I'm very talkative. I'm very excited about this. And it was really cool that you guys asked to hear what we thought about this episode um, or about the two trailers. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to see how it all plays in. I can't wait to see how the Zygons play into this. Um, th there's just so much there. I mean, they give us a lot. I mean, you know, they, they are, I think they are hitting at the time war. I think they're hitting at the time lock, releasing the time lock, bringing the time, time loads back proper, which means, you know, we might get the Ronnie, we might get Ramona, you know, we'll get a lot of stuff back, um, that's been missing. And, you know, we're the, just that, and honestly, I'd say we're that much closer to the Christmas special, we're that much closer to Capaldi coming on as a doctor, which I'm very, very excited about as well, so, um... Oh, I think that's about it. Um, until next time, we are Galfi Pirate Radio signing off. And I forgot, I am your host, Davey Beauchamp, wearing my Weeping Angel shirt. Peace!